Hello, Darian and Bobby Joe. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. I'm going to take a quick video of the two that we landed on for you. This one is the 2024 Grand Design Reflection 367 BHS Bunkhouse Slide. This one uh, will stand 12 foot 8 inches tall. Uh, it's 41 feet 1 inch long. You've got a ladder to the roof up there. It'll have, I think, 320 watts of solar up there, which would run in a power outage, would run your refrigerator, lights, awning, radio, etc. Really well insulated. You've got R40 on the front cap where your bedroom is and on all the roof. R30 on the heated and closed underbelly and R7 on the wall. So a true four season camper, that'll work for you. Great big awning here on the slide out. Then you have another giant awning over here on the side of the camper. So a bit of an outside kitchen here, basement storage here. Solid steps going into her. We're gonna weigh about 12,500 pounds, but you've got a truck relative that can handle that. Here's the living room. This was Bobby Joe's favorite, I believe. Big double door residential refrigerator, 30 inch microwave, smaller oven, three burner range. These seats will recline. They have heat, vibration, and nice accent lighting as well. Storage throughout, you really like that about this one, Bobby Joe. This couch will make into a bed for you when you need it. You've got 74 gallons of fresh water, 94 gallons of gray water, and 47 of black water as far as your tanks go. Big pantry there, solid surface countertops. Your kids' room will be here. Might be a little dark, I'm sorry. That will make into a bed, and then they have a little closet here, oops, and a place for a TV and a little desk. And then the loft, of course, upstairs here is another little separate sleeping area for them. Bathroom, oh, this is real dark, I'm sorry. Porcelain toilet, big one piece molded glass enclosed shower. And then your bedroom. This one has a queen, queen, but it can be opted with a king, king wide anyway. Two ACs, 50 amp camper. If you were to do a washer dryer in this one, it would be in this closet here on the right. And then you would still have his and her side closets here. There is storage under the bed and a place for a television as well. So this is the 367 BHS. You have that marked on your brochure. Oh, R11 on the walls, you guys. I thought it was R9. We've got R7 insulation on the walls. That's new. Four slide outs. And they say this will sleep seven, which I think it will. Really nice accent lights everywhere, so at night you can really, uh, this is accent lit all along the underneath there, accent lit on the recliner, so at night you can really make this place pop with whatever kind of lighting you like. Let's run over and take a look at what I think was the second favorite, Darian's favorite. Remember we have the RV park here on site and the key thing to that, any place you buy one, you'll get an orientation class with a technician to show you how everything works, etc. But that's usually out in the parking lot like this. And you're kind of hoping when you get home, the hot water tank works, etc. Whereas here, this, this uh, RV park over here is where we do our orientation classes with 
everything on and running. Fully plugged in, AC blowing cold, hot water running, and then on top of that, we have you spend the night in it, and that way, you can do everything. Cook a meal, use the restroom, take a shower. That way you'll make 100% sure that everything indeed is working and that you're happy with it. And if you do have any questions, your same technician will be here the next morning for you to help you with anything that perhaps didn't function or that you have questions on how it functions. This is the big destination trailer here. This is the one that we can make a nice patio here on the outside of this sliding glass door. Let's take a look. This one's going to weigh quite a bit more. This weighs about 12,000 pounds. For a travel trailer anyway. Here's the bedroom. This one does have a king bed. Closets here, big windows all the way around, place for a television, and then our living room. These are the one, this is the one with the really high ceilings and the big nice living room. We're 41 feet 5 inches long, so that's about the same as the fifth wheel was. About as wide. 52 gallons of fresh water, 32 gallons of gray water. And the black tank is 39, so a little bit less there. But it's more home-like and it's less money. Higher ceiling, ceiling fan. I'll get up there and show you the loft. This, is, this video is kind of for the kids to, to kind of see what they think as well. Although I bet they're not stroking the check, are they? Same kind of residential refrigerator, same 30-inch microwave. Nice pantry area here. This one, the washer and dryer, will be in the bathroom. Advantage here is the bathroom has the tall ceilings as well. Big shower as well, glass enclosed. And then here is where your stackable washer dryer would go. This is removed, got washer here, dryer on top. And then the loft for the kiddos. And the dogs would have fun going up and down here. So you have one here with higher ceilings, at least for the loft, as a loft goes. And then the other loft here that overlooks the living room a bit. So kind of small, but kids like it. Kids th think it's a fort. And then out this glass door is where your patio could be. So these are the two, you guys. My number is 406-696-4750. I know you're a little bit away, but this will remind you of what you did like. And we can address any other options when you get a little bit closer to making that move. 406-696-4750, Too Tall Paul, exit 220 right by Cabela's, Crestview RV. Hey, let's go camping.